very good morning, a 22 degree morning in January in good old Tenerife. So something a bit different for you this morning, slightly different form of transport to usual. I'm trying out the Fred Olsen Express over to the marvellous island of La Gomera. So it's about 50 minutes sailing. I'm in class Oro, which is gold class. So we get a free baguette and coffee. Don't all roar at once. So two questions I get asked quite a lot is, one is, how many of the Canarian Islands have you been to? And the simple answer to that is all of them. And the second question that I get asked quite a lot is, how do you move between the islands easily? Well, there's two main answers to that. One is, you can either try the inter-island ferries, which are relatively cheap and will cover pricing later on. The other way to do it is simply to fly. So you can fly between Tenerife from either of the airports here, north or south, over to La Gomera. The ferry trip, as I said, is about 50 minutes. Flying, obviously, about 15 to 20 minutes, but then you have a hassle of an airport to work with as well. So, let's get on board on this rather windy morning and see what Fred Olsen Express is like over to La Gomera. Today's ship, the Bentargo Express, is about a quarter full. Seating is in three main zones, front and midships are basic economy, with aft ship being gold class and, hopefully I'm getting these whole nautical terms absolutely right. Midships includes a small gift shop and cafe bar, plus both informal seating and quieter seating. Seats are not reserved, so it's first come, first served. You'd better be prompt if you want your favourite port or starboard side. Today's crossing, we're told, will be rough, but at exactly 9.30 in the morning, it's anchors away. So as the four US built Caterpillar engines spool into life, and with some seriously impressive acceleration, we're out to the high seas. So, uh, as you can probably see it just out the window there, <laughs> we're about 10 minutes out the port of Tenerife and uh, Los Cristianos. As you can see, uh, we're starting to uh, bounce a little bit, so we've just moved seats. Uh, not being experienced mariners, of course. <laughs> uh, but otherwise, apart from that, it is actually very comfortable, and certainly here in class Oro, gold class, it's very quiet. The rest of the ship, as you saw earlier, is quite busy. But I think either it's through lack of awareness or people just don't choose to use class Oro on a relatively short journey like this, but it is much nicer than the standard cabin. Apart from anything else, you get the free, well, the complimentary drinks and the snacks, and you can have whatever you want and it's just really quiet in here, so it's nice. But yeah, other than the uh, rocking motion, <laughs> it's, uh, 
Uh, it is quite a choppy day out today, as you can see. So let me tell you a bit more about Gold Class. Starting at just nine euro per person, you can upgrade at the time of booking. You're gonna get priority boarding, complimentary drinks and snacks, with a separate cabin for the entire crossing. Fred Olsen Express also has a loyalty scheme, plus card. It doesn't feature status levels like the airlines, but it is very simple. You collect points, and you can then redeem them for either future crossings or stays at the Jardin Ticino Hotel on La Gomera. Pricing is similar to flying, and gold class can start at just, as I said, a nine euro upgrade. With a fleet of 10 ships of various sizes, Fred Olsen Express really does have the Canary Islands covered. They also operate a 33 hour crossing to mainland Spain, but what I can tell you is that's not on a catamaran, and that is a good thing. Fares are kept low thanks to not only competing with Binta Canarias and Canary Fly, the two Canarian Airlines, but also fellow ship operator Armas, which they compete with directly on this route. Which ferry operator you choose is largely down to whichever design of ship you prefer. Armas operates a very similar Pullman cabin to Gold Class, fares are very similar, so it really does depend on whether you prefer the more conventional ferry design, which Armas operates, or like me, prefer the catamaran type design on the shorter journeys, which Fred Olsen operates. As the clouds lift, I sit with my complimentary coffee at the back of the ship, another benefit of being in gold class. And you know how much I love the Canaries. This really is a great way to pass the time. Hurry, hurry. And as I always say at the end of these trips, this one sadly is coming towards an end. After 47 minutes of sailing on the high seas, we're now arriving in the fabulous city of San Sebastian de La Gomera where I'm going to pick up my hire car and explore this fabulous island. So, what did I make to Fred Olsen Express? Well, what I can tell you is, I am so glad I never chose a career at sea. I really don't have sea legs. That said, even as an aviation geek that you all know that I am, I still think this is a better way of getting around the islands than flying especially when you're carrying lots of camera equipment and lots of electronics. It's just easier than using airports. And pound for pound, actually, it's really good value for money. So next time, I'll bring you a review of Armas, the more conventional ship, in Pullman class, which is their equivalent to Gold class. But for the time being, like I say, gonna go and get the hire car and explore this fabulous island. If ever you do manage to get down to the Canary Islands, I can highly recommend La Gomera. So all that remains for me to say, as always, is thanks a million for watching, especially if you've got this far in the video. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe, I am still trying to get to that magic 2000 subscriber number, and I'll see you on the next video.